Mr. P, I'm having problems with fractions. Well, let's take a look at this problem, Manuel. Convert the improper fraction to a whole or mixed numeral, 7 thirds. This is an improper fraction because the number on top is larger than the number below. 7 is larger than 3. This improper fraction represents more than one whole. Let's think about what the 7 and the 3 tell us about this fraction. The 3 in the denominator tells us that each whole is cut into three equal pieces. The seven above in the numerator tells us that we're considering seven total pieces. We're going to do this problem three different ways. The first way involves using pizza pictures. I'm going to cut each whole pizza into pieces. And because this fraction is 7 thirds, I'm going to cut each pizza into three equal pieces. Here's one pizza cut into one, two, three equal pieces. In fact, I've drawn a whole bunch of pizzas here because we're going to have to shade parts of several pizzas. Now let me take my blue highlighter to help us think about what the seven tells us. We want seven pieces of pizza total. That's how many I'm going to shade with my highlighter. I'm going to shade one, two, three pieces of one pizza, a fourth piece, five, six pieces shaded so far, and one more piece shaded makes seven pieces of pizza shaded. So now I can think of my improper fraction, seven thirds, as being equal to a mixed numeral. I've shaded two whole pizzas, so I'll write two whole. And then I've shaded one third of another pizza. So seven thirds is equal to two and one third pizzas. Two and one thirds is a mixed numeral that's equal to seven thirds. It's not always easy to draw pizza pictures, so let's look at another way that we can convert 7 thirds to a mixed numeral. I call this way counting thirds. If we take 7 thirds, we can think of that as representing 7 copies of a third, or 7 copies of one-third. Each copy of one-third corresponds to a piece of pizza, like when we used our pizza pictures to help us do this problem. So I have one copy of a third, plus another, plus another, that's three, plus another, that's four, plus another, that's five, another is six, and another is 
seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven copies of a third that add up to seven thirds. Because these are thirds, three of them grouped together will give me one whole. Plus another three grouped together give me another whole. And then I still have one more third on the end. Altogether, what we have is one plus one or two and one third. There's our mixed numeral two and a third that represents seven thirds. Now if the numbers involved are large, using pizza pictures or counting can be just too complicated. So we need a shortcut method in order to convert an improper fraction, like seven thirds, to a mixed numeral, like two and a third. That's what our third method is. Our method three, using division, is the shortest way, the fastest way, to convert seven thirds to a mixed numeral. What we're going to do is interpret this fraction as a division problem. Seven thirds equals seven divided by three. Let's go ahead and do that division. Seven divided by three is the same as saying three into seven. Three goes into seven two times. Two times three is six. I subtract. Seven minus six is one. And my remainder of one I can write over three, and there's my answer to the division, two and one-third. Notice that the two that I get here is the same as the two whole pizzas that we shaded. When I say two times three is six, the six that I subtract stands for the six pieces that we get from those two whole pizzas. Seven minus six is one. The one that we get here represents the one piece of pizza that came out of the third pizza where we only took one piece. That one piece out of three total in one whole pizza is represented by writing 1 over 3 in our answer to the division. Thanks, Mr. P. You know what? I'm going to think I'm going to try some of these on my own. Great.